What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Porgo, and today we're going to talk about how to play Palau, a pretty freaking amazing character and a very satisfying character to play. This is a new Omni Frame character that we have. I'm still trying to get used to saying those words, and she is quality and i really do think that you know especially for 2500 black cards you really can't go wrong by picking up a character like this she really is pretty awesome and a pretty fun character to play as we'll talk about when it regards on how to play her so the first thing guys is her weapon so i've talked about this in the last video where i said her five star weapon is more than good enough because it's going to bump up her signature damage and that's really the heart and soul of plow yes her combos are amazing her core pass is freaking fun as hell but the signature is the main damaging skill for her but her six star weapon is quality because it does give her the extra 15 percent physical damage it does give her the extra critical rate it's nice guys it really does make her a lot stronger and her memories are actually really cool the way that they're set up so whenever you look at the two piece like if you just have the two piece obviously you're going to put these all these memories on her because she is an omni frame character with these kinds of characters they have specific memories that are designed only for them so you really can't go wrong as far as putting the right memories on her but the two piece gives her a solid seven percent more physical damage and five percent base damage but a four piece is, is pretty interesting because whenever she catches the dragon axe while being hit okay so whenever she's being hit if she catches her dragon axe it removes her own hit status and throws it again meanwhile removes the red penalty on the dodge gauge and restores 250 dodge gauge value so you can actually restore some of your dodge if this happens that's actually pretty cool and then with the six piece obviously and you're going to have a six piece you actually uh will increase your base damage by 50 percent whenever doing your dragon four combos which is pretty awesome for her damage and then dragon axe will release dragon war to pull enemies to plow and she gains a shield equal to 15 percent max hp for six seconds so you actually get an hp shield with this uh six piece set also which is pretty phenomenal now let's talk about her skills so her red orb is pretty cool. It does a nice little spin attack. And by the way, guys, all of her orbs, whether they're red, yellow, or blue, whenever you do a three ping, they're always going to have super armor, which is awesome. If you do a one ping or two ping, they won't have super armor. But if you do a three ping on any one of the colors, they will have super armor. So you won't get interrupted while you're doing those skills, which is pretty phenomenal. But the red orb does this nice little spin attack, which is pretty cool. The yellow orb actually slows like it brings out these like little mountains mountains these animated mountains around her and it kind of slows the animation of the opponents it's actually pretty cool and then the red orb or the blue orb i'm sorry does a flurry of combo kicks it's actually really awesome to watch this move she's like pa 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 and again guys anytime you do a three ping on any one of the colors you're going to have native super armor her basic attack does a flurry of punches and kicks i mean it's it's pretty cool to watch honestly honestly her bases are pretty fun uh those are cool in itself and it's actually really awesome that her basics are actually incorporated into her core pass of the way that she's designed and then her signature now her signature consumes a lot of energy it consumes 20 century energy to cast spirit blade dragon throw throwing dragon axe and dealing a certain percentage of damage to the enemies in its path palau dragon toll can summon dragon axe back to her at any time on a one second cooldown once signature energy reaches a hundred so you need a lot of signature energy to do this uh pressing and holding the signature button will cast the spirit blade so as long as you hold the button down whenever her signature is actually ready then you'll be able to do her signature move and then when it comes to her QT and this is really important for her so whenever you're doing her QT you guys she drops in and she throws her dragon axe out this is actually really awesome because once you throw that dragon axe out whenever you bring her back in it's going to be so much easier to enter into her core passes do a bunch of damn damage and build up that signature move at the same time which again is her heart and soul of her kit we don't need to talk about vanguard and then her core passives whenever palawa dragon toll catches dragon axe she will throw it again and you do this by hitting her signature move there's going to be two little icons on her signature you're gonna see one big icon that's her actual signature move and then a smaller icon and that little icon you'll hit your signature and it'll actually she'll actually catch the axe and throw it back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth right and whenever she's doing that you want to be hitting you know a one a two or a three ping it doesn't matter if you do a one ping a two ping or a three ping as far as entering into her core passive
right? You're, you're going to get native super armor whenever you're doing this. So you want to throw the dragon axe out and enter a one ping, a two ping, or a three ping while you're doing that, and she will enter into her core passive. So in regards to her core passive, guys, you know, whenever Plow or Dragon Toll catches Dragon Axe, she will throw it again. Dealing the same effect as Spirit Blade, Dragon Throw, basic attacks, one, two, three ping, will generate three, three, six, twelve, Dragon Force up to 50 points. If Plow Dragon Toll catches Dragon Axe when performing her red, blue, yellow orbs skill, consumes 25 Dragon Force to unleash Dragon Force combo, with which tapping the basic attack button repeatedly will perform a follow-up combo that deals a certain percentage of physical damage while performing Dragon Force combo and the follow-up combo, Palau Dragon Toll gains super armor and 80% extra damage reduction. So she has a lot of super armor in her kit, whether she's doing any color 3 ping or whether she enters into her core passive on top of having the extra damage reduction on top of having an HP shield from her memory set. She's really a complete character and pretty damn cool. So the way that you enter a core passive, guys, is you just want it have her signature available she's it's good there's two little different there's two little icons regarding her signature there's going to be a big icon that does her actual signature and there's going to be a smaller icon that actually can throw her dragon axe out so once you throw the dragon axe out guys once you hit that and you throw the dragon axe out you'll hit that signature again and then she'll catch it and release it and catch and release it over and over and over and if you hit a orb whether a one ping a two ping a three ping it doesn't matter she's going to enter into her core passive and you want to start tapping your base attacks a whole bunch of times afterwards to do her core passive and do a bunch of damage it's pretty much that simple you throw the dragon axe out you hit the button again to toss it back and forth and then you enter a one two or three ping of any color and then she's and then hit your basic attacks afterwards start tapping your base attacks afterwards and you can do her core passive to do a bunch of damage uh share leadership you know physical damage to all of them. team members increased by five percent vanguard uniform uniframes attack increased by ten percent i said how many frame earlier didn't i oh well anyways a double s her crit rate increases by 20%, which is pretty massive for her. She's going to do a lot more critical hits and do a lot more damage because of this, especially for a character that does a lot of hits in her combos, the way that she's designed. And then each Dragon Force combo recovers at most 24 signature energy. So whenever you take her to double S, which free to play can completely do, you're going to be able to do her signature more often whenever you have her at double S. And Dragon Toll accumulates 30% signature energy and 25 Dragon Force. Now, whenever she's at triple S, guys, she's going to be able to, to do her signature even more often she's going to get an extra 10 percent physical damage uh it's going to make her a lot stronger and then i add triple s plus she actually becomes a whole lot stronger on top of being an a to other characters so when casting spirit blade falling stars creates dragon cloud spring for 10 seconds during which the calon units within the area receive a 20 percent critical damage bonus and a 10 percent physical damage bonus and recovers one single orb when casting snow dragon so this is going to be pretty awesome especially for a character like chu uh giving her some big big buffs now this is a huge huge investment anytime you try to take character to triple s triple s plus it's massive even though this character costs 2500 black cards per copy it's 18 shards per copy it takes a lot honestly guys it's really like if you want to do it you're more than welcome to if you you know you have the if you're a spender and you have the black cards go for it especially if you love plow she's an awesome character but i really feel like most players are going to need it, especially considering that she's a uniframe character or or transcendent character she's going to be able to get it done at double s no problem guys especially in the game modes that we have available in the game and then we have the uniframe set up here where you can actually do a little special move whenever characters do a they have a little blue attack and this only applies in certain game modes you can't do this in every single game mode only certain ones but there's going to be a blue little highlight that's going to show up and then you can do this counter and then the whirlwind strike actually is a nice finisher move Whenever there's an orange bar at the top of the screen, whenever that thing finishes, then she's going to automatically do it. Now, go ahead and you know try to show you guys that live as far as you know how that works because it does work in the uh, bamboo dojo here, right? Let's go ahead and do a little round here, right? Let's see if we can cue this up. I'll try to do this, right? Now, whenever you do the dodge on this mechanic, you have to hold the dodge and time it at the right moment. So I might let myself get hit a little bit because I'm going to try to be dodging at the right moment here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I don't want to hit no skills. So I'm kind of hoping for somebody to do a blue attack here. It doesn't look like they will. So, okay, so we'll just start doing attacks. Yeah. 
and there's that attack right there. There's the finisher, right? It automatically does it whenever that orange bar finishes. Got a little wonky there. Honestly, she does so much damage in this game mode, it's not even funny. So it's kind of difficult to really show it in here. But in another game mode, this Operation Uniframe, uh, you can actually queue it up. Unfortunately, I've already done all this, uh, so I can't really do it right now. But I'll just show you guys a nice little run uh, in the story mode as far as you know how to play her. Uh, let's see, story, we want to go to hidden, and we will go against good old Gabriel. He's always a fun little boss to take on. Right? So whenever you're playing with Palau, guys, and you have her a double S, all you gotta do is do two, three pings. Once you do those two, three pings, then she can throw out her Dragon Axe, and you can start entering into her core passive, which is where you're gonna do a lot of damage, and then eventually build up her signature to do even more damage. Oh, my nose itches. That sucks. Okay. So we're gonna do two, three pings right away here. All right. Click that, that. There's two, three pings, the signature's ready, we throw out the dragon axe. And then we hit the signature, and now we can enter into her core passive. Whoops. Hit the signature, hit the core passive. Hit the signature, hit the core passive. And then do her signature move. And that's pretty much how you want to play her, right? So right now, she doesn't have her Dragon Axe out. You see this gauge down here at the bottom? Whenever we get this halfway full, then we can start throwing that Dragon Axe out. So we're going to get old Gabriel here to attack us. Come on, buddy. Okay. And there we did a three ping. We could throw out the Dragon Axe, right? And she's do she has super armor guys, so she doesn't get interrupted, which is pretty nice. And again, you know, we're just using that that super armor that she's getting from her core passive, and she doesn't get interrupted at all. And then you see the damage from her signature; it's just ridiculous. And that's that's pretty much how you want to play the character. I don't want to use my serum here. Uh, pretty much, guys. Like, you're just trying to build up that signature, do the Dragon Axe, and then after you throw the Dragon Axe out, then you're going to hit the signature again, so she tosses the Dragon Axe back and forth, she catches and releases it over and over and over, and you just want to hit a 1-ping, a 2-ping, a 3-ping, and then start tapping your basic attacks afterwards to enter into her core passive and do a bunch of bunch of damage, man. She's a really cool character and a really fun character to play, and I'll probably talk more about uh, her special moves, uh, this uh, Uniframe here, these moves here. I'll probably talk more about this uh, in the future. I still need to level up all these things and elaborate on a little bit more especially when this uh, new game mode here uh you operation uniframe uh actually completely unlocks to where we can actually fight that this right here when we're going for a record whenever those finishers and those counters actually come into play a whole lot more but i'm loving plow guys i think she's an amazing character and a super fun character and really one of the most satisfying characters you could ever play in pgr man she really is awesome so i wish you all good luck on your pulls uh let me know how y'all doing with her let me know the level that you decide to take her up to and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m d plus seven time link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.